If you're curious about how to improve the contributor sustainability of the open source projects that you care most about, this presentation and practitioner guide is for you. If you haven't already watched the first presentation in this series, I recommend that you pause now and watch the video for part one, the practitioner guide introduction. Contributor sustainability is an important part of assessing whether an open source project and community have enough contributors for the project to be sustained over the long term. So contributor sustainability has a large impact on overall project sustainability. There are a lot of projects with a single maintainer. Many projects struggle to find enough people to actively participate in their projects and continue to maintain them over the long term. If there are not enough contributors to sustain a project, this increases the risks that the project will fail, which creates a variety of often significant challenges for the users and other projects that depend on it. Contributor sustainability can help you understand your current contributor situation. If it's like this one on the slide, you really should focus on getting a few more people who can contribute and eventually be moved into leadership roles. You might also find that there are people who are contributing more than you realized, which is the other reason that this is useful. This can help you think about who you can encourage to contribute more and maybe find someone who can move into a leadership role like a maintainer role. Reaching out to someone and acknowledging their work while encouraging them to do more can help quite a bit with growing your contributor base. The catch here and with many metrics is that we don't just want to think about the people who are making commits. This is a good start, but you should also be thinking about how you can move people into leadership positions to be responsible for things that might not show up in a repository, like documentation, community management, marketing, and other important roles. I encourage you to read the full practitioner guide linked on the slides since it has more details and so many more suggestions about how to improve contributor sustainability for open source projects. I hope this helps you use metrics to improve the contributor sustainability of your open source projects. And I hope you also enjoy the other videos in this practitioner guide series. Thank you for watching and I'll see you around the chaos community.